In this video, let's learn how to create player movement controller in touch person or first person view with input of keyboard, touch or gamepad. And you can control character animation easily too. Very easy and fast with Visual Studio Plus. Let's get started. I have a character with tag model here. You can import this character and his animation from Misamo. You can watch my older video to know how to make it. Let's create a capsule object for player movement controller. Name it player body. Put it in the same object player main with the model. I will add color blue to this player body. Next, create a cube for player head to control the camera. Name it player head. Remember to check its trigger true or it will collide with the body or you can remove the collider from this head. Scale and move it above the body. I will add color pink to this head object. Open visual scripting plus. You can get it with link under this video. We're going to use macro touch person. Add it to our game. To use this macro, step 1, copy macro touch person to our object. Copy it to player body. In another video, we use setup movement to create player movement in couple minutes. This video, we will use event move to factor for touch input. Copy this. Let's open our main events. Step 3. Paste the copy event, edit variable, that's it. First, let's test it with a button input. If button D is pressing, object player body will move. Factor 1, 0 will make it move to the right direction. Head name player body here to move it. Camera is our main camera. Let's add variable player move speed to control player speed. Add this variable to move speed. It always requires rigid body to move an object. Add rigid body to player body. Freeze XYZ rotation. Now, if we press key D, player body will move to the right. Let's change angle of our camera and press D again. It worked very well with our camera. Next, copy macro touch person to player head object to rotate this head. Open use touch person to get event to use. Let's use event setup look around. Place it here. We will call this event at on start. Add timer to make sure game is loaded. Add name of player head. Name 
Look speed is the speed of rotation of this head or camera. At a variable player look speed, you control this speed. At this variable to look speed, let's play and move the mouse around to see how it works. Next, let's make camera follow and rotate with this player head. We will use macro pin to do it. Add macro pin to our game. To use macro pin, step 1, copy macro pin to camera object. Step 2, open use bin to get event to use. Copy this event. Step 3, paste it here, edit variables. Object 1 will be our main camera. Object 2 will be player head. Pin type will be position angle distance for first person games. Now, when you move the mouse, camera will move too. You can change smooth value to take camera smoother. Or change the look speed slower. Let's put player head into player body. When player body moves, the head and camera will move too. Next, let's make a touch controller. You can get this image from the link under this video. Set its size and rename it to touch area. We need to set the screen size for UI scale as well. If you don't set this, UI objects will have incorrect position if they are different screen size on other devices. Then create a touch pointer. Change it name to touch icon. If we touch on left side of screen, touch icon will move there. I call this object is touch left for left side of the screen. Reduce its opacity to see it easier. And make sure to add box collider to this. To this. Next, open use touch to get event to use. Let's copy this event. Paste it here. If touch left is on touching, move touch icon there. Now we touch on left side, touch icon will move there. Let's move event, touch person, move to factor to our touch event.
we need the direction factor for it to move there. It will be the direction of factor 2 of touch icon and touch error positions. To get that direction, we can use event 2D get direction from two objects. Let's copy this. We will get direction between touch area and touch icon. Object 1 will be touch area and object 2 will be touch icon. Then put this direction to XZ vector. That's it. Let's play and try to move it with our touch controller. You can change the move speed to move it faster. Set the touch icon back to its default position. Now let's try to change the camera rotation. Only if right mouse is click or touching on some buttons or area. Paste it here and remove the old camera controller event. It needs input to start look and end look. First, let's try it with right mouse input. Right mouse down will start to rotate camera. And right mouse up will stop the rotation of camera. Now nothing happens if you move the mouse around. But the camera will rotate if mouse right is pressing down. And stop rotation if right mouse is up. This camera controller is used in many multiplayer RPG games. How to use it on phone touch like Pucci Mobile, Fortnite? Let's define screen to left and right side. Camera will rotate if we touch on the right side. I will turn them invisible. Open use touch person. We will use this one. Copy this. Remove the old one. Head player looks bit. Now we need a trigger with touch or mouse position here. Open use touch. If touch right is on touching, we will rotate the camera. Let's copy this. Type in touch right. Then it hit position from touch right to touch position. People will rotate camera while walking in those games. Then we need to add multi-touch. Touch you in touching. If touch right is in touching with touch one or two, it will rotate camera. You can separate or put them together like this.
you can connect your phone and test it now. It worked at shooting games you play in your phone. Next, let's add character and animation to this player body. Turn both body and head to invisible. Then, adjust the capsule collider to fit our character. Put this character model inside player body too. Now, if we move player body, this character moves too. Next, let's make this model character rotate to the direction he's moved to. We will use event rotate to angle for first person, first person, face, and add it after move to event. Model is the character object. Make sure you add it. Tag model to this character. Change this to tag. Now let's find the angle from touch controller if in touch. Open use no macro to get the event we need. We will use this event to get angle between two objects. Place it here. Angle of layer will be angle between touch area and touch icon. Now we have the angle of layer at it to rotate event. Let's play. Layer can rotate to the direction he moves to now. Next. Let's add animation work. He will play motion work if player is walking, idle if he stops. To play an animation, we can use animator play. And simply add motion name to state name. And play motion idle if no touch. Animation work and idle work very well, but player is slippery because drag value is zero now. To fix it, just increase the drag value to higher value. Now instead of playing motion idle, we can play a transition of work and idle. To make this animation smoother, you can create it from motion work or download it from Misamo. Here I will create from our work motion. Make transition. After it finishes work, it will play idle. You can set when it will start the transition from work to idle. Instead of playing idle, we will play work to idle. When player stop walking, this animation is smoother and look better. You can adjust the transition and speed as you want. In next video, we will move this player with buttons and a trim run attack. Please like and subscribe my channel to get more tutorials. Comment below what tutorial you want me to make in next video. Thank you for watching.